well at least it didn't get the model got just about everything else i didn't realize i left the camera running no great now i got fingerprints on the phone i'll be back in a minute Well, hello, Blue Troopers, and welcome back to the Tarbis, where we had an active day of building today and a bunch of other stuff. So, <laughs> today we had some adventures in modeling, which I'll talk about in just a second, but we also got some boxes, so I thought we'd start with the unboxing. And this first one ooh, is from uh, Mr. Irick in South Carolina. Thank you, sir. And, of course, I split the boxes open, but have, have not gone through them yet. So, uh, first one is a book. Speed Duel, the inside story of the land speed record of the 60s. Oh, I remember this car on top when I was a kid. Uh, the man, I, oh man, the memories are coming back. Pardon me, I'm, I'm visiting about 1968, 69 again. And uh, remember, you can't live in the past, but you can visit. And uh, here he is. Uh, the Canvas Falcons, men in the men in planes of World War I. Well, thank you, Mr. Irick. I appreciate that. I'm going to put both of these uh, in the uh, back room by the exercise bike where I keep all the books on the table that, I'm, uh, that I have to that have yet to read. So, uh, this next box is from... Ah, Chris up uh, in Ohio. Thank you, Chris. Let's see what we got here. Okay. And there is a letter on top. Always helps to put those on top. So, uh, 7th of May, 2022. <laughs> um, it's dated. So, uh, let's see. Uh, it got here fairly quickly. Max, it's been two years now since I've been watching your show. Had me hooked at the monogram models. You and the Glue Troopers and Ken, parentheses and Ken, uh, make building models fun again. The Glue Troopers and the Model Gods have supplied you well. Always fresh subject matter. I was walking through the model aisle at Hobby Town and other places. They seem, they screamed at me to buy them. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Do it to me too. Uh, all I thought of was surf music. I see a bright future for this model for kits. Uh, have fun and be creative. Chris from Ohio. Uh, and he sent me a card, a local toy shop in Northwest Ohio. Good choice of model kits just for fun, Chris. And that is Tinker of Toys. Uh, looks like the owner is Brian Young and the CEO, Ryan Young. And uh, so uh, that's uh, in Wayne, Ohio, 114 Center Street, Wayne, Ohio. So there's a shout out for the Tinker of Toys. And it looks like their website is protinkertoys.com. Always happy to give a plug to a hobby shop. And let's see what we have. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, we have an Atlantis Surfing. Oh, this is one of Big Daddy Ross uh, uh, projects. I, I don't know if I've ever actually built one of Big Daddy Ross kids, so this will be a first one there. And we'll have some fun with that. Love the crab hanging off the stove. <laughs> and uh, Ed Roth. Ed Roth, name and design used under license. Well, yeah, he's the same fellow gave us Mr. Gasser and so many other classics. All right, we're ah, from Schilling Retro Throw It High Paratrooper with Tangle Free Parachute. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the little. Yeah, you just pack up the parachute. And whoosh, give me a. <laughs> Never get tired of playing with stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? An astronaut for one of my SD's rockets? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, whatever. I forgot. Ah. Uh, the uh, remake, the repop of the value pack, the ME262 and Stuka. So, there we go. Can't go wrong with the classic kits like that. All right, make sure I'm not got everything up. All right. Well, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. These will go in the stash and put them in line. So, guys, once again, thanks for your generosity. I really do appreciate it.
Now, today there was almost a serious catastrophe. It only managed to be a minor catastrophe and I thought I had got a picture of it, but I didn't. I was uh, touching up the engines on the Heracles. I was trying to, and mind you, we're talking one to 144 scale and I'm trying to very lightly brush on uh, dry brush on the engines, uh, the, the push rods, uh, you know, get them just a little silver on them. So I've got my chrome silver and it was starting to look like something. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I, uh, I'm put, I, and I had a good sense to back away from the table and I started screwing the lid on and it just, ah! I don't know how it happened. Of course, this was enamel too. Big blob hit me on the elbow. A big blob hit me on the wrist and hand, got on my trousers, got a bunch of it splinters, got, still got some of it here, on my other arm, I mean, and all over the floor. I managed to salvage a tiny little bit that was at the bottom of the bottle, but it, it was just, and the jar was almost full. And it's just, it was every bit the mess you could think. Of course, once I got over the initial shock, the first thing I did was grab my camera phone and try to take a picture of it, but apparently I didn't hit the button until I set it down, so the footage was just the thing laying on the table. But, thank goodness I had backed away from the table and nothing touched the model. I can clean up. It's easier to clean yourself than the model. But it was just one of those, just, and, and I had a really decent grip, but uh, I, I believe I was holding it with a piece of cloth uh, and you know, trying to keep from making a mess. And instead of holding, you know, like this with a death grip, I was holding it with fingertips and, and it, just, like soap. Um, that happened quick, wink of an eye kind of thing. But, except for a fresh coat of paint on the floor of the Tarbis, none the worse for wear. Although I'm going to be spending quite, <laughs> I had to take a bath in uh, acetone to try and get most of that stuff off of me. But, uh, didn't hurt to model, that's the main thing. Now, something else happened with Heracles that required some cleanup. The, the kit itself, I give high ratings to it. The instructions could be better, but, oh, by the way, I also got silver paint on the Optivisor, which I was wearing at the time, so I've got to clean that. It's got a big splat in the center, and that's why I'm glad I got two of them, because uh, one of you guys sent me a spare pair, I think. Uh, so, in, where did I get those from my wife? Anyway, but I digress. Uh, so, the, the Heracles, uh, uh, the only thing I had because I have black out of the store was gloss paint. So I painted the, some of the, the tires and engines of gloss and I figured I have this clear flat that you apply with a brush and I put it on and I don't know what's wrong with this stuff. It's Tamiya flat base. Guys, I'm going to stop it right here. I did some research on this. This has to be mixed with paint. It is not a varnish or a cover. And even the people who sold it to me didn't know that. And the one YouTube video I could find about it, which I'll link below, said that even most people who buy the stuff don't know what it is. The, even the guy doing the video had to, had to learn. To me, it doesn't really uh, <laughs> tell you what it is. A lot of folks thought it was a covering or a varnish. It's not. It has to be mixed in with gloss acrylic paints. So I'll link the video below, and I'm going to edit out the whole section I did on this because I, everything I said was a, a guess and a wrong one at that. I'm not a guy who knows everything about models. I just play one on the internet. So, uh, in good news though, uh, the Heracles did come out uh, pretty good. I'm not ashamed of it. The uh, New York Air Boeing helicopter is taking shape. It's nearly done. Uh, made a lot of headway on it. Used uh, the white trim decal on the bottom and, and a few spots on top. and That, that helped out a lot. It's not a, nearly as good as I'd hoped it would be, but it'll look okay from a distance. And... Uh, which of course <laughs> that's my standard but uh that's what we have with that and that's really the bulk of what i got done today but that was a lot especially given that i had to go out uh and uh do some things today i took the mustang it was just a gorgeous day in florida this is the perfect time of year in florida I want to take advantage of it because we might have some weather coming in on the weekend so uh well here i am just having a good time driving a convertible on a beautiful day Go back to the 70s. You know, find your joys where you can in models and cars and whatever. Books, you can take a vacation in your mind as well as take a vacation in your car or while well, building your car. I know a couple of glue troopers have told me about some cars they're working on. One is uh, having 
he, he's doing a, a car that is just fighting him at every turn and I'm like yeah, it joys of modeling and today I uh, well <laughs> boom splatter and uh, so there you go well guys uh, that's really all I have for tonight I uh, have to go uh, put this video together and uh, wash off some more of this paint and research that uh, flat base and see what it's really supposed to be used for and that is where we are with all of that did I get anything else done today no all right guys take care of yourselves and as always model on on the cable gosh this thing's it's like a, it's, it's like a, a foot magnet just always ends up under your foot i am one with the styrene Ugh, still sticky m m maybe you could like like uh i i the the i i